morning everyone welcome to another day of float on the valley boat um what you can't see is that i'm a flipper down <laughs> um on the last trip um the wind picked up quite bad and on the way back one of my flippers came loose and uh just enough for it to sink to the bottom um right in front of me so not ideal um but look I've got the oars with me, I've got one flipper and um, there's zero wind in here so that's good, I don't really need the flippers anyway I'm um, going to do a bit of, bit of drop shot in the day for hopefully big perch um, finally got my hands on the SG4 rod as well um, excellent bit of kit really really super designed to it um, 1 to 5 gram, going to just be drop shotting over deep water 10 gram drop shot weight on so that's going to be the that's going to be the plan. Um, all going well. We we'll hit something over 40 centimeters. That's the target today. Um, I'm going to have a bit of a quest over the next few months to to really to really uh, scope uh, a few places out and try and get that elusive, big, massive Aris perch. It's something that uh, that does interest me quite a lot. Perch are probably my favorite fish, as you as well know. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Next few months, you're going to see a lot more of the tube. We're going to do a lot of uh, perch fishing, especially. And um, we're going to do a bit of everything, of course. But uh, I really, really want a big perch. But yeah, stay tuned um, and let's see what we can do and hopefully get a big fish. Okay, first cast. It's in uh, incredibly deep. This place. So even even with a ten gram even with a ten gram jig head it still takes well it's still sinking, put it like that, it's a it's a fairly deep spot. Um gonna use the tube then to get the some of the more unaccessible spots that uh, that doesn't get fished that often. So that's the that's the main the main plan with that. Um we'll just use the oars on the one flipper and uh, just cruise about around the edges of it check in round where the, the sunken trees are and the different snags and that sort of thing it's a really really snaggy place I'm expecting to lose quite a bit of tackle today it's sort of part and parcel of this particular spot but it is what it is it's just you want to get the fish jumping behind me if you want to get the big ones that's just really what you have to do um, I'm going to go with the drop shot first I do have jig heads there um, various other lures as well so we'll chop and change to we'll find out what's working and um, the water's super clear as well but really at that depth i don't think it matters just one just one over mid 30s i'd be happy with Happy with the small one, to be honest, <laughs> just to get the day started. For those interested, I haven't got new waders yet either. They are ordered, along with new flippers. They have been ordered as well, straight away. The real blazer attachments have arrived as well. Um, hence the reason why you're looking at me from this angle. So I've got the, the real blazer um, GoPro camera boom, basically. We're using that. Gives you a bit more of a a better look at my face. I'm sure you'll all appreciate that. Fish finder and the battery etc is all all on the way as well. So it'll be a well oiled machine by the time we get it uh, and we get it finished. First snag of the day, literally 10 minutes into the session, just trying to bring myself slowly over the top of it and hopefully if we go the other direction it'll come out. Even though you half expect it, it still sucks. I'd love to know what's down the bottom of it and why you get snagged so much. Ha <laughs> ha. 
was more like vertical jigging. That was a bite. Yeah, so it's more like vertical jigging than, than really anything else. Just with the amount of snags in here, you have a bit more control. Vertical. You can avoid the snags a bit more. You can keep her six, seven inches just above the bottom. Whereas if you cast at distance, you know, because it's coming at an angle, it's just going to drag over the top of the snags. Sort of the beauty of the, the float tube as well. You can get right over the top of the fish and just vertical jig over the top of them. Would have been handy, obviously, with the fish finder. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Okay, so we're not blanking. <laughs> dear, dear. I thought it was a leaf or something that had actually snagged from the bottom. And craft cannibal shad doing the business. So remember, you were in the right area. Who knows? So I've hooked into something decent here. I actually put a, an offset hook on with, a, with one of the Z-Man lures. And um, first cast, it hadn't even hit the bottom. And it's a big perch, yeah. No, it's not, it's pike. Ah. Pike. That's not what I wanted. Took just in the jaw, so easy enough to get rid of. But when you're when you're fishing in a place that has monster perch and you hit something like that, it certainly gets the heart going. Zedma, and that's the worst possible hold I've ever had of a pike in my life. Go. <laughs> Quick release. Camera shy, that one. Not the intended species, but certainly I'm not turn our nose up at that. <sighs> We're about four rigs in. Drop shot, jigs, Jabaraska weights. Nothing seems to be safe. Everything's <laughs> everything's getting stuck and coming off. It's so so bad down there. I'd really love to know what it was like just to get a bit of a look at it, the structure of it. Jagged rocks and pipes and cars in some places. Believe it or not. I think I'm going to have to stick with the offset hooks the rest of the day. It's just it's giving me that bit more safety, just a bit more than what I'm getting off the others. Devastated that pike wasn't a perch. Last couple of weeks now that's happened, hitting pike and drop shot and keep thinking I'm, it's a big perch, only to be disappointed. We shouldn't really be disappointed. Fish is a fish at the end of the day, but when you love perch as much as I do, it's uh, it's hard not to be. Proven to be quite a quite a difficult session. Um, without going into too much detail, I've been snagged seven times, and I've lost seven lures. <laughs> Um, I honestly don't. Uh, I honestly think the fish are sitting down there with scissors. It's mental. Never ever thought it would be as bad as that. I knew it was snaggy. I knew that the place itself wasn't easy to fish. Um, but yeah, I've, I've lost all motivation now. I've, I've had to retie fluoro on to braid that many times now. I'm just honestly sick looking at it. Um, 
and it's still only about 10 o'clock. <laughs> running in about two and a half, three hours. Um, I'm just gonna uh, just float about, to be honest, and just vertical jig in the deep water. I'm trying to keep it off the bottom really as much as I can now. Um, but it's, the bottom's really strange too. Because one minute you'll be, you'll be jigging away, you see the line going slack where you've hit the bottom, and then the next minute you're you're not on the bottom at all, or it just must just drop into like a big crevice or a big hole. But yeah, I've got the offset hook on. A 12 gram jig head, I think I'm using there now to get myself down. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep drifting about, see what happens. Been a really tough uh, tough morning so far. But um, to be honest, with with this style of fishing in this particular place, you're, you're fishing for one bite. You know, you're not here to catch shoals or perch. You're here for the big beast that, that swims behind them. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I think I'm gonna call it quits. I put a serious slog into this place today. It's, uh, it's coming up to lunchtime, you know. Which, trust me, is time enough from 8 o'clock this morning when your waders are leaking. Um, it's, it's been a tough day. Didn't blank. Target species was perch. We did get one. Albeit it was the same size as the lure, but we did get one. The, the pike certainly made things a bit interesting as well. Got the heart going. Warmed me up a bit. It's been quite a while from a fish here in all honesty. So the the main sort of plan today in my head was to just to sort of go on back and scope the place out. See how uh, see how everything was. Um I'll know the water a lot better whenever I get the fish finder and everything on the go. I'll be able to see the depths and the, the drop offs a lot better, obviously. Shoals of fish, which is the most important thing. Um But yeah, it's uh the start of the of the ongoing quest, as I said earlier, it's going to be uh, it's going to be all about perch for the next few months. Don't get me wrong; I'm still going to do my other species as well, but um, I really want to get myself a, a proper big Irish perch, Northern Irish Irish, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, it's, it's something that I really really want to do. I've had uh, I've had big perch before. Uh, my, my PB, if you want to call it that, is uh, two pound ten. Back in the days, whenever we didn't do any measuring, unfortunately, I would, would have really liked to have got a measurement of that one because it was a beast of a fish. Um, but yeah, want to want to try and beat that. I want to get something well into the 40 centimeters. See how things go. Um, weather's really starting to change. Spring is on the way, so now is the time really that you want to be getting them before the spawn to get them at their heaviest as well. Um, but yeah. Hard day, enjoyable to be out in the tube all the same. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next video.